Now let's see what is delta, delta one, etc. Okay, before we start, just keep in mind that the calculator has nine variables. A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and M. So we got to use these nine variables only. Okay, so our first step will be that we assign the variable values to these. So like this one, assigning A, this one minus, uh, this one B, and C here. Now, since we have limited number of variables, so we'll not uh, be using for uh, different variables for everything, but whichever is repeating, we'll use the same, like minus one was given B, so this minus one will also be given value B. Then eight minus J nine will be D, minus J 16 will be E, and then J 15 now here, J 15 was C, so we'll call this C. J six minus J 16 was E, so we'll write this E, and this is F. And the uh, remaining X, Y, and M, we can use any one here. I'm using x, so we are left with two more variables uh, if we need it. Okay, now we know the, this is the determinant and delta, and we, I hope you remember how to write the uh, equation for this. Okay, this is delta one. Now delta one is that in the determinant, we change the first column with the output. So this first column has been changed uh, by the output. So this is delta one. Delta two will be we set change the mid column by the output, and delta three will be that we change the third column with the output. So these are all the uh, four deltas. And now let's see how to write their equations. So we take this a then df multiplied by ef cross multiplication so a multiplied by df minus ee sorry ee then we come here minus b we have to take so minus b and multiply this and this bf minus ce so bf minus ce or ec and third uh, we take plus c and with this, we'll take these two, BE minus CD. So BE minus CD or DC. Similarly here, now since these two are zero, so it, it is simple, we just write M, DF minus EE. So M, DF minus EE for delta one. Here also, uh, these two are zero, so we'll have just one. This multiplied by bf minus ce so minus m of course in the middle one so minus so minus m bf minus ce and finally for this we'll have m into be minus cd so m into be minus cd so these are the now uh, four equations in terms of variables Okay, and now we write uh, the current equation. So delta one, we are writing this at the numerator and this is the delta as so a denominator. For I two, delta two, so we'll write this one here at the numerator. Denominator remains same, delta. And I three, we write delta three here and uh, delta remains same. So now we'll, we'll solve the first step will be that we assign these variables uh, in our calculator. So let's call the calculator. A couple of things we have to keep in mind. First thing is that you turn it on fresh, then you should clear it. So whatever data inside that should get clear. So we'll add shift clear all for three, all equal sign yes and press ac okay so now everything is cleared then we have to come into the complex mode so we press mode two for complex 
Okay, so now we are ready. So let's assign the first value 28 minus J15 or 15I. So 28 minus 15I, this is I, for J we write I. And then to, we have to store this value, so we'll write shift store. You can see store sign is here. And this we want to store as A. So this A, we'll just press this button for A. So this is stored as A. AC clear. Next is minus 8B. So minus 8, shift, store, B. Okay, done. J15 for C or 15I, 15I, shift, store, C. That is stored, clear. Then we come to D, 8 minus 9J, 8 minus 9I, shift, store, as D. Okay, so uh, I hope it has done. We, let me just repeat it. So, yeah, so uh, 8 minus 9J, 8 minus 9I, shift, store, and D. D, okay, stored, AC clear, E is minus a 16I, so minus 16I, shift, store, as E, okay, so E, done, then we are left with F, 10 plus J is F, 10 plus I, 10 plus I, 10 plus I, shift, store, and we store this as F. So this is F. So this done now M. For M, we have to write 12 angle 64. So, you see, 12 angle, this is angle sign, shift angle 64 degrees, 64, and then shift store, shift store as M. So, this is M. Okay, so it is stored as M, but it has shown in different form, no problem. Okay, so this is done. Now let's move to the next slide. Okay, now we got to calculate these and for your ease, I'm reproducing the answer so we can verify. So let's recall the calculator again. I1 will first of all calculate, so delta 1 uh, divided by delta will use this sign for division. So delta 1 is MDF minus EE. Now for writing these letters, initially we had written it directly, for, but in putting in the equation, we have to press alpha every time. So alpha M. As we saw in the previous slide that it is difficult to input both numerator and this long denominator every time uh, we make a calculation. But the best way is that we can save this long one with another variable. We had used seven variables, x and y are still left, so we'll assign this uh, value x. Now how to do that? So let me input this equation, alpha A bracket 
डी एफ अल्फा डी अल्फा एफ माइनस डबल ई तो माइनस अल्फा ई अल्फा ई ब्रैकेट क्लोज माइनस बी एफ ई सी तो माइनस अल्फा बी ब्रैकेट बी एफ अल्फा बी अल्फा एफ माइनस अल्फा ई अल्फा सी द सेकेंड पार्ट इज डन ब्रैकेट क्लोज प्लस अल्फा सी ब्रैकेट बी ई तो अल्फा बी अल्फा ई माइनस डी सी माइनस अल्फा डी अल्फा सी ब्रैकेट क्लोज तो वी हैव एंटर दिस जस्ट पुट इक्वल साइन टू गेट द आंसर तो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ दैट पार्ट Now we'll store this as x. So shift store, and then we'll enter x. Where is x? This one x. So it is stored as x. And now let's now solve this. We can easily do. Go to the division portion. एम डी एफ माइनस ई ई अल्फा एम ब्रैकेट अल्फा डी अल्फा एफ माइनस ई ई तो अल्फा ई अल्फा ई ब्रैकेट क्लोज डिनोमिनेटर just x so we enter alpha x the set down equal sign so we get the same answer minus 1 to 9 7 9 so minus 1 to 8 and 0.3599 and now <clears throat> we'll try to solve i2 so we just have to change this we'll try to go back from here but if not we we'll just enter the value so we are not able to go back from here so we'll just go to the division sign and enter this value minus mbf alpha m sorry ब्रैकेट बी एफ अल्फा बी अल्फा एफ माइनस सी ई अल्फा सी एंड अल्फा ई ब्रैकेट क्लोज डिनोमिनेटेड सिंपल एक्स तो अल्फा एक्स Equal sign, so we get the second answer, one nine four minus one nine four, and the second part is two eight four zero. So we got this part, and now the third one again. We just go from here. M B E C D. So alpha M bracket alpha B. alpha e minus alpha c and alpha d bracket closed denominator alpha x equal sign 
so 0 0.718 minus j0 1265 so we got this now as i was telling that <clears throat> this can be easily converted into polar form so the last one we'll do so shift complex to we have to select option 3 for r and theta p and we just put equal sign so now you can see 0 0.145 0 0.145 and angle is minus 60.412 so this is minus 60.42 so i hope you have been able to so there's a question here some people might ask what if we do not have any variable left here we are using the x variable that was left uh, but there may be cases when all nine variables were already utilized then the simple way is that we just uh, write the calculated value so we had already calculated this value so we note down this value and then we use that to calculate so now this uh, is the delta one and for delta we'll just put in the values in the bottom and we do the calculation as we did in the previous case that is enter the value of this and do the calculation so i hope you have been able to follow this thank you let me know through your comments